He's a semi-good kisser, but it was wasted because Spinelli didn't even show up. Uh, yeah, he did. He was here when I came home. He was? How did he see What him? does this matter? This is a bad idea. You're right. It's time for a serious reality check. I had a young man in my life once. A lot like you're lucky. First love, forever love. His name was Ralph. Don't be fooled by the name. <laughs> He was very good looking and the most generous person I've ever met. Well, I'll spare you the boring details. The meat of the story is that life and circumstances parted us. He left town and I cried my share of tears. Finally, I had to move on with his best friend, no less. We were married, had two beautiful children, a boy and a girl. It was a good life, safe life, and if I didn't love Leonard always the way I wanted to, if we both had to grit our teeth sometimes, oh well, <laughs> what marriage doesn't involve compromise? But then one day I was walking down the street and I saw this familiar smile heading right toward me. It was Ralph. He'd come back. And so did all the old feelings. They were stronger and more real than ever before. I'd never stopped loving him. <laughs> I always felt cheated out of the life we were supposed to have. So, I left my husband and my kids to be with him. We finally had the wedding and the life I'd been waiting for. What happened? He died a few years back. Then shortly thereafter, I was diagnosed with the cancer. I was almost relieved. It was almost comforting, because I knew that it wouldn't be too long before I'd be with Ralph again. But the thing is, there's a flip side to this comfort. You know, when you're sick, you have a lot of time to think about your life. The choices you've made, the people you've hurt, what I did tore my family apart. If you could go back... Would I change things? Would I stay with my husband and let Ralph go on by? Honestly, I, I, I don't think I would. That may not be the right answer, but it's how I feel. I'm sure I'm selfish in most people's eyes. A mother admitting that she'd leave her children again if she had the chance. I can forgive myself most of the time. But my children couldn't. Their father is dead too. They have their own lives and I'm not part of them. For that I, I have many regrets. fresh halibut today. We have salmon, asparagus. I was about to send in a message asking you to join me. What do you want? I'm not very good at this. Mainly because I don't have a lot of practice. So if I start to fumble or whatever you I should it up. I want to apologize. You said what happened last okay, night. Okay, we had sex, and now that your wife is back, you feel guilty. Is that about cover it? I know you're back. Nothing happened. And as far as Robin is concerned, nothing did happen. We were drunk. It shouldn't have happened. Can we just we need to leave it at that. Okay, relax, Patrick, right? Your secret's safe with me. I need to see Detective Spencer. Sure, have a seat. I'll check if he's available. Great, thank you. Hey. 
You're a high-profile mobster, and sending you to prison would have made my career. And I won't apologize for being ambitious. However, I realize now that I may have let that ambition cloud my judgment, which in turn hurt your children. And for that, I am sorry. But it won't stop you from trying to pin Johnny's car bombing on me. I just came from the PCPD. Yeah? It's far more likely that the Lopez brothers wired the car to explode. It would appear you're off the hook. Wow. Well, that can't sit well with you, your career, you know, hanging in the balance Sonny, and all. I've, uh, I've seen firsthand the lengths you go to in order to protect your children. And for you to show up to Johnny's looking for your daughter, witness an explosion which almost killed her in the same manner your first wife died. It, it must have been excruciating. So, um, I'm sorry if my accusations added to your pain. Well. your honesty. It looks like I may have been wrong about you.